compliment. Welcome back again to my channel. As always, I post a new video every Friday, so if you're interested in art-related videos, please consider subscribing. So the other day I was having trouble deciding what video idea to pick for this week, and I went to sleep that night. And I had a dream, I guess, where I was at my grandma's house, and Ray from Super Ray Dizzle was there, and then we were both working on our videos. In my video, I was using kids art supplies. This wasn't even one of my ideas that I had to choose from for my video for this week, so I don't really know where this came from, and I don't know why Ray was there. Maybe I secretly want to collab with her, maybe it's a sign. Hey Ray, if you're watching, hey. So I woke up that morning and I was like, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So for today's video, I will be using a 48 pack of Crayola crayons. I say crayon, do you say crayon? Some people say crayon, crayon. A 48 set of Crayola crayons that I may or may not have stolen from children. And of course, only the washable kind, because I'm not a savage. And I also have a 12 set of color pencils from Crayola. Maybe this will be the dream team right here. We'll see what we can make with these. I wanna do a portrait. Also, before we get started, as you guys may remember, the festive holiday treadmill behind me, well now, it got some upgrades. The lights in the back are actually duck lights now. Hold on, I wanna show you. See, there's, there's little ducks and eggs. Let's just get into the video. So let's just crack open this box of crayons. Woo! Aw oh, man, this one broke. Dang it. I mean, as I said, I did steal these from children, so this is the quality you get when you steal from kids. And I've got my 12 set here of my colored pencils. Yeah, I'm thinking to use the colored pencils for outlining since I'm not gonna be using anything like micron pens or any of my liners that I would normally use. And then I'm gonna use the crayons for all of the coloring and all the details. I'm not gonna be bringing any other supplies into this drawing other than my regular lead pencil. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So I'm gonna begin by telling you guys a bit about my idea for what I was gonna be drawing for this video. As I stated briefly, I'm going to be doing a portrait rather than a traditional full body drawing or something smaller of that sort. So the reason for that is because using crayons, the tip is a lot thicker than say a Copic marker or the tip of a watercolor brush. So I know that I'm gonna be able to, or, or not gonna be able to get as much detail in smaller areas as I would be able to with other materials that I normally use. I have not used crayons in a very long time, so I'm not very used to how they work or like what I can get do with them efficiently. So I'm just gonna play it safe here and do a portrait since there leaves a lot of room for detail. And I also want to do some blending and nice fades with the colors. So I wanna make sure there's a lot of space to do all of that and to showcase the crayons themselves. For the actual drawing itself, uh, since it's the holiday season, I wanted to keep within the spirit of the holidays and I'm gonna be drawing a reindeer girl. I do have a deer character OC of my own named Doe, but this is not her. This is somebody totally random that I just made up for this video. So yeah, I, I wanted to give her a really kind of innocent slash shy look since she is a deer. So when I think deer, I think like giant eyes and like, I don't know, really cute features. So that's kind of what I wanted to give her. As I stated before, I'm doing all of the line art. I guess instead of the inking process, this is like the pseudo inking process. So I'm outlining everything in colored pencil to give it more definition. Also, I know for a fact that if I use crayons on top of regular lead pencil, they will smudge. Um, I already kind of had an idea about this, but I did test out my theory just to make sure I wasn't crazy because I, I know certain supplies on graphite pencils tend to smudge the pencil underneath it. So you kind of have to be careful. Like sometimes Copic marker will do this um, and watercolor will do this. I guess most materials will do that. So you have to always have another kind of layer over top or something to get rid of the, just get rid of the graphite pencil because it'll usually smudge. So by tracing over it with the colored pencil, I was able to fix that a bit though. At certain times it did smudge a little bit. Um, so yeah, I, I went ahead and I, I used the color of what I was planning on coloring each area for the line art. So since the hair was gonna be pink, I did the outline in red pencil. 
Since the skin was going to be like a tan color, I did the outline in brown, etc. For the skin itself, I started off by swatching a few different brown pencils. And luckily, because this is a 48 set, there is a nice range of each color. So I did have a pretty good variety to choose from. And so for this, I chose, I think, tan, burnt sienna, and I forgot what the third one was, but it was a darker brown. So I used three different browns for her skin and I left those little white dots under her cheeks because deer, or I guess young deer, tend to have those little white dots on their back. And I know, I think that's only for the babies, but still, I did that anyway because I think it's a cute little touch on her cheeks. Um, so yeah, the, the skin was pretty straightforward. I tried to do a nice like fade on her cheeks because I always do blush on the cheeks. Instead of using pink or something like that, I wanted to just use the natural color of her skin, so I went ahead and did like a darker brown under her eyes there where the blush is. And then I did a nice little pink lip for her. Going into the hair, I always start with the lightest portion first. So I began by using the lightest pink that I could find in the box to kind of sketch out where the highlight on her hair was going to be, where the light is hitting it. And then after that, I took two or three other pinks that I could find and I just kind of went from there like I normally would with marker. I found these actually pretty fun to use. I, of course, there are, um, you know, some things that I don't like about crayons, just the fact that like if you're drawing and your hand kind of smudges over them, you get like all the waxy feeling on your hand and I really don't like that. Uh, that's not a big deal, but also because you can see the white of the paper a little since uh, it, it, just, it just doesn't leave a clean layer down unless you push really hard, but even then sometimes the chunks of crayon come up, so I had to kind of work around that. And overall I tried to make the areas like lighter, fading into dark, like on the tips of her hair, and I, I enjoyed coloring this actually. Like I said in the beginning, I haven't used crayons in so long, and this was really fun because it was like basically a new material to me because I've never used them to do something like this. I've only colored like, I don't know, little signs or little things when I was a kid. So never did a full drawing with crayons. So this was definitely a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. For our eyes, I had a little bit of trouble getting the shading at the top portion of her eyes, shading it darker just because the crayon, as I was layering a bunch of colors, started to like chip off of the page so yeah that was definitely something that bothered me about the crayons is that you couldn't layer them too too much because then they would start to like come off or like overwrite each other and it just it wasn't working the way the way i wanted it to but as i was going i kind of like got used to it and like you have to play around with when to color lighter and when to color darker like push harder with the crayon so yeah overall this was a lot of fun i'm really happy with the result i love the way that the hair came out and the face especially is my favorite part so let me know what you guys think of this. And then I quickly did a little blue circle behind her as a little background. And yeah, that is my Crayola Crayon masterpiece. <laughs> so guys, that is my finished art piece. I hope you like the finished product. I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out and I like the colors. It looks a lot more vibrant and blended than I thought it would just because I haven't used crayons in like a bajillion years. Sorry, smite me. But anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video and liked what I created, let me know in the comments below. I can't believe Christmas is already in less than two weeks. It's kind of weird and I have to do my Christmas shopping, so I should probably go do that after editing this video. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, please subscribe if you haven't already. I post a new video every Friday. I also have all of my links in the description box below. I've got the link to my online shop, which I just put up a bunch of new prints, large prints and mini prints of some of my fan art and original designs, so go check those out if you want. And then I also have the link to my Instagram account where I post a bunch of upcoming artworks and different things I'm working on that I don't post here on the channel. I hope you guys all have an amazing day and an amazing week, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye-bye!